Hey guys, what's going on? Tackle Junkie 81 here for Mystery Tackle Box, and today I'm going to show you guys a few quick maintenance tips that will keep your spinning reels running nice and smooth. So we're going to be using this kit here that I picked up from Carl's, which we'll link down below if you guys would like to check it out. But it comes with everything you're going to need. A little Ardent Real Clean Cleaner here. Been using this stuff for many, many years. Really like that stuff. Of course, you got your grease and your oil little screwdriver it's even got some little ardent swabs here I really like these things synthetic type deal doesn't leave any lint behind I really really do like these comes with a few of those everything you're going to need to clean up and lube your reel so definitely check that out again we'll link that down below before we begin the cleaning process here I want to give you guys a little backstory on why I don't recommend you guys taking the gears out of your spinning reel unless you're really familiar you know with doing it and um, now this issue may no longer exist you guys know I'm really familiar with taking reels completely apart. If you guys are familiar with my channel, I do it with my baitcasters all the time. Been doing it for many, many years, even with my spinning gear. But when I was doing it with my spinning reels, maybe, maybe eight or ten years ago, that's when I ran into an issue. And at that time, some spinning reels would gain wear patterns on the gears. And I had taken one apart, put it back together. And apparently that was a reel that had that type of issue and I had to end up replacing those gears just because I wasn't for sure, you know, in the orientation that I took them out, when I put them back together, obviously it wasn't the same way. So I had an issue with that particular reel. I'm not sure if it's a brand thing, if it doesn't even exist anymore or not. But I know at that time there were some companies that actually marked the gears that way you put them back together the same way that you took them out. I know a few guys that clean reels, they actually put little like etch marks on the gears so they knew the exact same way to put them back together. Uh, so anyways, I just want to throw that out there. If you guys were to take the gears out of your spinning reel, you may come across that issue. That's why I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you're new to taking your reels apart. What I do is just take off the side of the frame here. I'll just kind of wipe out some of the old grease with like a toothbrush or a little paintbrush and then supply some new grease um, after that but be honest guys these reels here are like eight or ten years old I've only done that a couple times I'm not that hard on spinning gear I don't use them that often the little bit of maintenance that I'm about to show you guys is really all I do each year and the reels are still you know running you know nice and smooth feel just like the day that I got them so no issues at all there but uh, that's why I wouldn't recommend you guys taking out the gears in case you do come across that issue first things first go ahead and remove the spool a little dial there on top Loosen that up. You'll be able to remove the spool. There we go. Set that aside. Then you'll see your drag stack on top of there. Now you can leave that on there if you want. It's easier to take it off, so I'm going to. Just rotate the handle there till the stack's up a little bit higher so you can get your fingers underneath it. Pull that off. It's on there pretty snug. Here it is there. Set that aside. There's a metal washer and then your drag stack there. Okay, now you have your shaft here. Get yourself one of those Arden swabs. Get some real clean. You can just spray it on there. You can just dip it in the bottle is what I like to do. Okay, take that and get all the oil and grease off the shaft. Okay, once you got it wiped down, Use your rag that also comes in the kit there. Dry the shaft off. Okay, now all you want to do is get your oil and put a couple drops of oil on that shaft. Okay. Rotate the handle a few times. Just something as easy as that, guys, really does make a huge difference. Okay, good and smooth. From there, you go ahead and put the drag stack back on and that washer. If you didn't want to take this off, again, you can just work around it, but I just prefer to take it off and make sure I get everything nice and clean. Push those back on there. Okay. Now you don't have to put the spool in right now. Those aren't going anywhere. They're on there nice and snug. All right, from there, we're going to move to the bale system here. And all I want to do is put a drop of oil kind of behind that screw there. 
that screw there, and then in the, the seam here where this moves, one on either side. You can put it up top there if you'd like. That's what we're going to do. So one drop here on that screw, one up top here. It'll work its way in. One here, and again one behind that screw. And just kind of move the bail system back and forth, work that oil in there. You can go ahead and wipe off any excess oil. All right, from there, the last thing we're going to do is the, the roller here. Now, I've seen a lot of guys just put a drop of oil right here on the roller, and that's really not going to, going to do anything. You need to take it apart. So what we'll do is get you a, you can get a screwdriver that comes in the kit. I'm going to use a little bit bigger flathead here. Take that screw out. Okay. So there's a few different pieces in here. Take the screw out. Okay. Pull the arm out there, the bail arm. Okay, you'll have a little black sleeve and a washer. Set that aside. You'll have that brass piece there. Okay, then you'll have this little gray boot. I'm not really sure what it's called, but inside that is the bearing. Okay, get your oil. One drop, that's all you need. Go ahead and put that back together. Okay. Same way you took it apart. And guys, that's pretty much it. I like to put a drop of oil here on the handle. That's about all I do, guys. Like I said, if you feel you need to grease those gears, take it apart and put some grease on there after you've wiped some of the old grease off. But um, other than that, that's pretty much all that I do. Put the spool back on there. Like so. I know some guys will take the knob off here and oil that bearing that's behind the handle here, but that bearing is greased. You really don't even need to oil that. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much all you need to do, and that will keep your spinning reel running nice and smooth for years to come. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will talk to you soon.